what I said, that's what I said, that's what I said, that's what I said. Okay guys, now that you have your SC System 3 out of the box and put together, we've got some software we need to install on your computer. So I'll walk you through that process. There are two programs that you'll need to install on your computer. The first one is a program called Derouter, which is software that we developed that helps our hardware talk to whatever DJ or, or MIDI application that you're running. And then there's Tractor LE, which is a scaled down version of Native Instruments Tractor Pro which is included in every pack of the SC System 3 or the SCS 3M. The best way to get this software is to download it from our website. That way you're sure to get the most current version. The URL to download the software is on page 25 of your SC System 3 user manual and it's also located on your tractor registration card. So let's go to this website and grab the software. Okay guys, this is the download page. Now in step one, we provide you with a link that you can click on, type in your email address, and select your operating system, either Windows XP, Vista, or Windows 7, or Mac OS. You also have the opportunity to receive emails on program updates, any uh, SCS3 related news that we send out, or you can opt out of that. So you put in your address, and hit submit query. And you'll receive an email with download links for both our router software and the latest version of Tractor LE. So once you hit submit, give it a couple minutes and you should receive an email from Stan that has both your Tractor installer download link and also our router software download link. So we'll click on these to download them. And through the magic of video, we don't have to wait to download. Here we go right here. First program you want to install is our derouter software. We'll walk through the installation in Windows first. So you'll double click on the derouter executable. And here's the screen you'll be presented with. Click next. You want to select standard, accept the user agreement, and then click next. and it's going to install the software and then something called a virtual MIDI driver. And you'll see this window pops up. It looks like an error message. Actually, it's just telling you how to install the MIDI driver. So press OK. At this point, you'll be presented with the found hardware wizard. Now this is Windows XP. Uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7 will be a little bit different, but the steps will be very similar. So the first question it's going to ask you is do we want to go online and find a driver for this and we want to answer no to that so you want to select no not at this time and click next the next screen will ask you for the driver location you want to select install the software automatically that should already be checked and click next it'll walk through the installation procedure and click finish. Now look in the bottom right corner of the screen you'll be presented with another driver installation there it is MIDI port 2. We're going to walk through the same steps again. No not at this time. Click next. Let it install the driver. Click finish and click finish to exit the derouter setup. At that point, you'll get a notification telling you that your hardware is ready to use. To double check that we've installed the router correctly, double click the new icon that you find on your desktop called Stanton SCS3 Derouter. At this point, it really doesn't matter what preset you select, but select one of the built-in presets. You have a drop-down to select from. We could go and Go ahead and select the Tractor LE preset here. And make sure that on the bottom of all three devices in the device configuration area, that you have serial numbers. If one of these says detecting device, disconnect your SC System 3, check all of your cable connections, and then reconnect it.
If you're still having problems after that, give our support a call. Now the first thing you'll see once you've got Derouter running is the light show that happens on the SC System 3 surface. It seems like the lights are going crazy. Really, it means something. If you'll notice specifically on this setup, the lights are blinking on the inside of the SCS3Ds. They're pointing to the mixer. That means that the decks are reversed. Now you could open up the back and take this whole thing apart and rewire it, but you don't have to. If we go back to the Derouter software, you'll notice that on each of the SCS3Ds, that's the units marked 1 and 2, there's drop downs. All you need to do is select the opposite unit. And you'll see that our light show is now oriented correctly. The right deck is pointing to the right side. The left deck is pointing to the left side. So we now have a correctly connected SC System 3. Now that you've got Derouter installed and you know that the SC System 3 is connected correctly, it's time to install the Tractor software. So double click on the Tractor executable and the software will start unpacking. Once the two unpacking screens are done, you'll be presented with the installation screen. First thing it's going to do is welcome you to the installation. Click Next. Accept the license agreement and click Next. On this screen, you're going to choose the type of installation. If this is your first installation of Tractor, you want to select Complete and click Next. Now, when you're installing the Tractor LE that comes with the SC System 3, you probably won't have any of the Native Instruments audio interfaces. If you do, this screen allows you to select what interface you have so you can install the updated driver for it. If you don't have any of these interfaces, don't check anything and click Next. Now it has all your options, click Next, and the software will install. Finally, the software will tell you that the installation is complete. You can choose to look at the welcome PDF or run the software. We're going to click Finish and now Tractor is installed on your computer. Now that we've got everything installed, we need to run the SC System 3. Let's configure all of our software. Now it's important to connect everything in the correct order. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to take the USB cable out of your SCS 3M that the 3Ds are plugged into and plug it into your computer. Also, don't forget, if you have anything plugged into the SCS 3M, the mixer, you need to have power connected as well, or else the units connected to it won't function correctly. Once you have your SC System 3 connected to the computer, go ahead and open the router. And when you do that, you'll see that light show that we talked about earlier. At the top of the Derouter software is a section called Active Preset. This is the drop down where you select what preset you want to use. The correct preset to use for the out-of-box system is LE SCS3 version 1.00. You select that and you can push the router off to the side. To stop the light show happening on the SC System 3, simply touch each one of the controls. Now that we've got our SC System 3 connected and our Derouter software running, let's open Tractor. The Tractor installation should have installed an icon on your desktop. Double click that icon and Tractor will open. The first time you run Tractor, you'll be asked to either demo, buy, or activate the software. To activate Tractor, click on the Activate button, and this will open the Native Instruments Service Center. In this screen, you'll enter the serial number that's printed on the Tractor LE registration card that came with your SC System 3. Once you've entered your serial number and press the Activate button, you should see your Tractor LE license, now with a green activated indicator on the side meaning that your software is all registered and ready to go. Also, while we're in the Service Center, please note that the Update tab, if you're online, you can press this Update tab 
and click download if there are updates available it will automatically go to the website and keep your software up to date for you. So let's close Service Center and open Tractor LE. The first thing you're going to see is Tractor loading the track collection and then on first run you'll see something called the setup wizard. Under please choose your setup select Stanton in the drop down. Under please choose your device select SCS3 system LE and press apply. You'll now be asked to select the audio card that you'll be using to run Tractor. You can select the built-in audio card. In this case, it's a Realtek audio card. Under Output Routing, make sure that there is something under Output Master. Output Monitor is your headphones. If you have trouble configuring this, please refer to your manual. Under Controller Manager, next to the Device drop-down, select General MIDI. <clears throat> In the Import, select From SCS3 Derouter, and under the Output, select To SCS3 Derouter, and press Close. Now that Tractor is open, select a couple songs. and let's verify that we've got audio. Looks like we're set to go. Have fun. For any of you who want to actually know more, you open up the router and then you hit this magic little question mark over here and you have the ability now to scroll through a help guide that will show you the breakdown of each and individual function and section of the 3M as well as the 3Ds.